he can still get into the street racing world. He has a pulse on it. He knows the dialogue, you know. He knows how to carry himself in that environment, and that's what this one's really all about. So he's the perfect, the perfect Fed to plug into the environment, and uh, you know, I think. He's really hoping when he finds that his path's going to cross with Dominic Toretto again, he's really hoping that he's going to be able to write where he feel like he went wrong. And, you know, it's a lot of guilt. He feels like he busted up this family. And uh, how could you ever make that up to somebody? It'd be pretty hard. You know, they never really find that time, you know, alone as guys just to be like, like to bro up and just kind of set things right. It just doesn't happen because things are off and running so fast. So they're kind of making up as time goes, you know, throughout the movie. And then there comes a point where they realize, you know, it's all water under the bridge. And then at that point on, they're just lumping on bad guys, basically. <laughs> Brian lost, and you know, that very first encounter when Brian didn't really know his his head from his you know what I mean when it came to racing and uh, so Dom put it on him you know and by the end of the movie his skills had come up quite a bit and they had that final quarter mile race and just by chance that train comes blitzing through but they were neck and neck and Brian really thinks he can beat him so in a way I think he kind of wants like Dominic's kind of like his like kind of big brother in a way you know he didn't really have much of a family Dominic Toretto was the father figure. Brian's going, hey, this is kind of sweet. This is something I've never really had before. And so he looks up to him, and he wants his acknowledgement. I think he really wants to hear Dominic Toretto go, hey, man, you know what? You've come a long way. But the guy just won't give it to him. <laughs> just Even by the end of this one, it's like Brian's looking to him going, come on. I mean, you got to give me some props now. And he just he refuses. They have two completely different driving styles, you know, just like their personalities are different, their approach to life is different. Brian is, I think, more finesse and just and more organic and kind of just makes his way there to the finish line, to busting the bad guys. And Dom is more bullheaded and just goes blasting through everything, taking stuff out, any obstacles, with really no care for his car or anything around him. <laughs> and uh, it's just, it's a fun contrast. I think Don, I think Vin and I are the same way, you know. It's like the East meets West Coast, you know. He's New York, and I'm as California as it gets, and you know, for some reason we get along really well. We shouldn't, but we do, you know. And I think it's the same thing with with uh, Dom and Brian. That's a good guy and a bad guy. Come on, they shouldn't get along, but they do.